right, before we get jetting, we're gonna need some nozzles and accessories, so let's open up the tool bin. With the DWR Eagle 300 and 600 models, there are tandem tool bins. So, firstly, you're gonna have your manuals, as I described, the Kawasaki engine manuals right here. And by the way, if you're gonna get service locally on your Kawasaki engines, you need to look for a Kawasaki Power Service Center, uh, not necessarily like a motorcycle shop, okay? Because this is a classic four-stroke engine, uh, but there's lots of Kawasaki Power and uh, Kawasaki's are huge in the zero turn mower lawn care industry. So a good place to look for a local service center for your engines. Your jetter manual is on this flash drive, as I mentioned earlier. Um, and again, we can email you or text you PDF manuals for the jetter or any of these. Um, your keys, there's two, two different sets of keys. You've got keys for the engine, and then you've got keys for all these um, doors. Okay, moving on to accessories. Tiger tail hose guide. This is to protect your hose as you go into a clean out. You know, the edge of the clean out might have a sharp edge which can cut your hose. As I mentioned, we want to protect our hose from being cut. So we put the guide in first and then we thread the hose through along with the nozzle. And now this is a nice slick guide. It also helps the hose pull back smoother because it's very slick on the inside. There's a whole video on this. Look up on uh, YouTube, Jetters Northwest, protect your hose and yourself. You'll get a demo on this. A item that doesn't get used a lot and should be used more is the safety leader hose. What this is, is an extension that comes off of your main, you take your main jetting hose, thread it on, you just double tighten that up with a wrench, and then put your favorite jetting nozzle on the end of this, tighten it up. What it does, especially if you're going into a deep manhole or a catch basin, or even a clean out if you can, it gives you this nice big orange 10 foot warning that you're getting close to the end. And that the nozzle, if you don't stop pulling the hose back, is gonna come flying out of the pipe. And again, water jets can cut you. The biggest safety concern is number one, do not ever allow in any way, shape or form that nozzle to come out of the pipe because generally it's not just gonna fall on the ground. If it gets out of the pipe, it flies every which way. I have been hit in the face with a nozzle. I'm lucky I still have a right eye. But the safety leader hose does not always get used because it does make this big long joint and that might not get around every corner in your pipe. Um, so primarily again, it's used for dropping into manholes and catch basins where it's too dark to see whether you're getting close to the end of the hose or not. Okay, moving on, we have a nozzle extension. This is an item that you would screw onto the end of the hose, screw your nozzle onto it, and it makes the whole assembly too long to flip around in the pipe and turn around and come back at you. So this is for safety, uh, to anti-turnaround, generally used in pipes eight inch and larger. But if you have a six inch, you wanna kinda of settle that nozzle down at the bottom of the pipe, it kinda of helps settle it. Uh, if you want, also we have ones with fins that will lift it up off the bottom of the pipe and center it, that's an option. Um, we have a video on that, it's called Extensions and Centralizers. You can take a look at it on YouTube. And lastly of the accessories before we get to the nozzles is our quick coupler adapter to adapt to accessories. So we take the end of our jetting hose and thread this on, tighten that up. Now we have a pressure washer type of quick coupler. So like a pressure washing gun, but more commonly for us, uh, our small hose reels have small quarter inch hose on them, 3 16 hose, 3 8 hose, 5 16 hose. We set them up with a quick coupler so you can just snap couple it on and you can switch from one to the other real easily with this quick coupler adapter. Okay, and next scene, we'll get into nozzles. All right, with all of our Eagle jetters, or our Brute jetters for that matter, you will receive standard a four nozzle set. Primary most commonly used nozzle is the penetrator nozzle. And it's called that because it has a forward penetrating water jet. And then it has six rear jets out 
the back to pull it into the pipe. And by the way, if you're not familiar, you might ask, why aren't all the jets going out the front? Aren't I trying to blast things out in front of me? Well, that's true, yes. And there are nozzles that do that, but we also need the nozzle to be able to pull the hose in the line. When you're jetting, if you've not done it, you're not feeding so much the hose as, uh, unless you're doing a very small hose through a P-trap. Um, the nozzle's pulling the hose into the pipe. So there's always more water going out the back than there is out the nose, except for special circumstances. So that's the one forward five back or one forward six back common penetrator, multi-purpose nozzle. Um, this is a flusher nozzle where there is nothing coming out the front. All the water is coming out the tail and it has a lot of pulling power because there's no front jet pushing against it. Uh, and it's great for just back flushing a line, especially say like a storm drain or anytime you can just pull material back toward you, toward a catch basin or an interceptor or something. Great ability to move material back. Uh, the total opposite is what we call the pusher nozzle. Pusher nozzle has six jets out the rear, but it has three jets out the front. And this is often used to just push stuff, try to nudge stuff away from the building out to the street. Um, it doesn't pull really well because there's so much water coming out the front. But uh, it can be very nice for just pushing debris away from you and uh, kind of general blasting. Last of the four standard nozzles is the high speed rotating nozzle. This has two jets rotating at a very high speed. It sounds like a dentist drill when it's running. This is great for your soft grease, your soft sledge. Um, not a great cutter. Um, we'll talk about cutter nozzles here in a moment, but this makes a super high pitch dentist drill sound. A lot of guys will uh, use it as a final polish and tell the customer we're polishing your line right now and it makes a nice beautiful sound. Uh, so very recognizable in that. Sometimes you can kind of locate where you are in the line, by the way, with that high perch sound if it's not too far out. Uh, you'll also get an orifice cleaner, little holes in the nozzle that the water comes out we call orifices. There's a single cleaner in this kit and also a Jetters Northwest multi-orifice cleaner that's also included, it's brand new. Okay, next we'll get into the optional nozzles that are very common for these Eagle Jetters. Okay, more times than not, customers don't just uh, settle on the standard four nozzles. They'll want a premium nozzle for doing cutting and heavy flushing. So the most common are the Reaper, the Warthog, and our heavy grenade flusher. And we also do the Bulldog as well as some others, Root Rangers and so on. Let's talk about the Reaper. It's super popular right now. The Reaper is a wonderful first attack tool for blockages. It has a sharp single water jet that comes out the front that rotates very quick so it looks like a cone. And that creates a high cutting action. So great to attack roots and blockages. And it also, that cone can kind of scoop material so you can, if you have to jet from the building toward the street, it can just push debris away and nudge that debris out to the street even faster than a standard pusher nozzle. But again, it's real, the beauty of this is with this machine, with 18 gallons a minute or 20 gallons a minute, you can, with one of these nozzles, we did a, a demo, it's on YouTube, we cut through a two by 12 board in about three seconds and we cut a perfect four inch hole in it in less than a minute. With that kind of 18 or 20 gallon a minute flow, you could do a six inch and, and cut a six inch hole. So the point is, wonderful tool for dealing with blockages. Um, it's got thrust jets to push it along and it can back flush as well a little bit. But um, call that the downstream attacker. The Warthog is fantastic for catching the things that the Reaper misses. And it does have a forward coring jet that moves a lot slower. This relies on what's called controlled, controlled rotation. It rotates slowly, uh, but the two rear jets here are the stars of the show. Thick, rotating jets that anything that Reaper misses, this, um, you get the Warthog past where the roots were coming in, let's say, or you got some heavy grease at the top of the pipe, the Reaper's missing, and these two jets just scour hard and tear the rest of it out of there. Also wonderful for the storm lines, maybe have a lot of silt at the bottom and it, that rotating, slow rotating jet just dredges up that silt. And then when you can jet upstream and pull material back to you, such as going manhole to manhole 
or you entered an interceptor and you can pull it back. Okay, this is going to have, give that a great scour and pull that material back toward you real, real well. Um, with like storm lines and whatnot, general cleaning, bigger sewers. The heavy grenade is really wonderful because it's heavy. It keeps the hose down at the bottom of the pipe for flushing. It also has turnaround technology inside the, the body of the nozzle that smoothly turns that water around and gets it out the water jets. So these water jets really carry. So when you're doing larger lines and storms and whatnot, really encourage you to look at getting a heavy flusher nozzle. We also, I don't have it with me here, but we have flat nozzles that jet just the bottom of the pipe. So even bigger storm lines where all the debris at the bottom, no reason to waste water spraying the top of the pipe when all the material's at the bottom. It's like a shovel just to pull that material out there. Um, if you have any questions on particular jobs and you're looking for a nozzle to attack a certain problem, give us a call, 877-901-1936, or send us an email, info at jettersnorthwest.com. We got just about every nozzle solution that will fit any jetter that's about 60 gallons a minute and below.